Maricopa County prosecutors are still reviewing the unusual circumstances surrounding the care of a toddler who died of cyanide poisoning. Investigative reporter Ty Schools examined the case to find out what happened. This case involves the use of Laetril, an often controversial alternative treatment for cancer. Some experts say this drug can be beneficial, but its use for cancer is banned by the FDA. Robert and Grace Maynard's daughter was a toddler, living in Maine when she was diagnosed with eye cancer and doctors removed her right eye. In her mother's blog, Grace writes that her daughter had been given a death sentence. They decided to treat her with prayer and alternative medicine. People believe a lot of things that are not scientifically based. Her parents took her to Arizona. They sought help from Dr. Martha Grout, a Scottsdale doctor and homeopath who prescribed Laetril, an alternative cancer treatment. Five days later, the 18-month-old was dead. Her name was Mercy. Cause of death, cyanide poisoning. There are lots of reports in the literature of Laetril, amygdalin, uh, toxicity, deaths, uh, and deaths from cyanide. Three years later, the case is still being reviewed by Maricopa County prosecutors. This case involving a uh, suspected homicide uh, in the context of medical treatment has posed some additional uh, issues that are taking some time uh, for investigators and prosecutors to work through. Dr. Grout works here at the Arizona Center for Advanced Medicine. She declined multiple requests for interviews. Mercy's parents also could not be reached. But anytime you have uh, family members or witnesses uh, or other people that uh, have material information to a case who live outside of the jurisdiction, there is the added delay of communicating with them. Scottsdale police investigated the death for more than a year. According to reports, Mercy's doctors in Maine told detectives this is child neglect and this child did not have to die. The alternative treatment administered by Dr. Grout goes by many names. Lantral, amygdalin, and B17. Dr. Jonathan Murphy is a physician at an Oasis of Healing, an alternative cancer treatment center in Mesa, and is an advocate of Laetril's use. The, uh, the essential nature of it is as a preventative and to help our bodies to prevent cancers. So that's why I take it, is as a preventative. In an email to Cronkite News, however, the FDA said Laetril is not a safe and effective cancer drug and has the potential to be fatally dangerous. The potential for poisoning comes from how the drug is administered. So if it's injected, it, it's not particularly toxic. But in the gut, bacteria in the gut can convert the amygdalin to hydrogen cyanide. Laetril is not legally produced in the United States. To get it, you have to order it from foreign manufacturers. And that's exactly what we did. We bought a small amount of Laetril from a company in Mexico for $26. Police found three bottles of the exact same brand in Dr. Grout's pharmacy. I would have to say that I believe Dr. Grout did what she thought was best. Uh, but I think the, the knowledge and the reasoning were certainly flawed. But Dr. Fagan, a University of Arizona professor of pharmacology for more than 22 years, wants the public to be wary of unapproved treatments. If you're practicing as a physician and if you have no credible evidence of any efficacy of this medication, you can't in any way say that this is not going to cause harm. The Arizona Medical Board reviewed the Maynard case and issued a letter of reprimand to Martha Grout. Dr. Grout also surrendered her license in Florida, where she used to practice. Ty Scholes, Cronkite News.